Now, despite those numbers, a charter school system in Polk County says it's ready to reopen, and it's been doing and it's doing so next week. Eight on your side, Stacy De Silva joins us now live just outside of McKeel Academy in Lakeland. This is one of the first uh, locations we're hearing about this actually opening up, Stacy. Yeah, Josh, it sure is. This is our first time back in a school since March. Same goes for teachers. Teachers were allowed back into their classrooms for the first time today. And in one week, 70% of McKeel students will do the same. All of these picnic tables are new because for this year we are um, having outdoor dining. Next Thursday, the three schools in the Lakeland based McKeel Academy Charter System will be some of the first in the state to reopen. It's going to be very different, and we keep preaching that to our instructional staff. This is not going to be what it was when we left in March. You know, it's, it's going to look different, it's going to be different. Director of Schools Alan Black tells Aid on Your Side masks will be required in areas where students cannot socially distance, including school buses, hallways, and some classrooms. If we do our tour of 180 classrooms, I believe is what we have, and we find out the majority of them can't socially distance, we'll mandate masks. 30% of McKeel's 3,500 students will be learning virtually. Elementary school teachers will either be fully virtual or in person. Some portion of the high school staff will also be teaching virtually. We've freed up an, a period for them, for those that are teaching virtually. So they, they will teach a regular five period day and then they'll have a six period virtual class. So we've been told all teachers have been given a $250 stipend to purchase COVID-related supplies. Coming up at 5, hear from a teacher herself with a message for parents as they prepare to send their kids back to school next week. Josh? Stacey, parents were given the option whether they wanted to have their kids return. How about the teachers? Were they given any options? They were, Josh. However, I've been told that not all teachers who wanted to teach virtually have been give, given permission to, so they will be in the classroom, Josh. All right, Stacey De Silva, live for us tonight. Thank you.